Playboy, first of all, I want to thank the, you for the advice you gave to um, SR9 uh, about not hoe chasing. You wrote, good commitment to make. I condition myself to only approach women who are choosing in my first year of being a player. And it saved me a lot of rejection and problems subconsciously. There will be times when you get thirsty at the club or in the field, and you may wonder why you aren't getting signals. That shouldn't be a problem to wonder about. Um, the girls in the club or whatever, they're not feeling you. They, they're probably looking at someone that's they think is better or uh, hotter than you. They get focused up like little lemmings, and they're staring at the hot guys. You don't have the energy to attract them yet. All right. You'll go back on your commitment. I'm guilty of this. And that's what I want to ask you about. Uh, since you know the truth that running up in the faces gets you rejection, and they're not paying attention to you because they don't want you, why would you do that? I've been curious about that for a long time. I think I must have a quirk in my head because if I was going through this uh, as a beginner and that's the way, you know, I learned that's the truth of what way it was, I wouldn't waste my time stepping up to it. But maybe that's just me. And I'm kind of curious why other guys, when well, you say get thirsty, but I don't know, maybe because of, I started in martial arts as a child, and that gave me a lot of self, good self-discipline. And I'm wondering if that's where I got the self-discipline from. Also, I woke up to the truth in the ninth grade. So when I learned the truth, it's the truth. I can't do anything about it. So I'm kind of curious as to how, how your mind works to where you, um, you know, nine times out of ten, you meet rejection. Are you doing it because that one time out of ten, uh, you might get something good? Is that why? You wrote that this is good because it reminds, reminds you the reason not to hold chase. Be patient. Don't force eye contact. Actually, I don't have a problem with forcing eye contact. Because if I can look over at a girl, you know, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I see a girl, I'm, I look, and she sees me looking, she looks back in my eye, that's a good thing. If she looks and looks away, turns her head and walks, I know that don't approach. She didn't like me. Over the weekend, I was at the club, and it took me about an hour to get eye contact. When I finally did, I was with the chick all night. Props, bro. See, that's the way the game is supposed to be played. The alternative, I holler at every woman I see, my energy goes down, I miss the opportunity with the buyer for the night as a result. Hope this helps. Great post here. Really good information there, Playboy. I'm glad you put that out there. And I'm hoping that, uh, what I wanted to find out is, is that why you do it that, you know, that 1% time or whatever you do, do it. Because that's what um, SR9 will do. If he doesn't see any choosing signals, he will just, just start going wild. And this is because a lack of self-control of the man. And I want to know what age you are. Because I'm, I'm wondering if it's a younger guy thing. But you do, it the, you, you do good here. But SR9, he, he can tend to wild out a bit. Just go ape wild and buck wild and want to hoe chase in the clubs. Um... So anyway, write me back. Let me know what's the deal. I, I'm just curious for my own information. Okay.